All right, we are back to Otter Pops and air conditioning because it's summer. Yay! Oh, yep. dope. Did we? Okay, cool. We, grabbed, we, grabbed <laughs> we didn't. We didn't have to cancel the episode. <laughs> so, uh, does this boss remind you of anyone yet? Uh, kind of reminds me of that Majora's Mask boss a little bit. Do you, when you say Majora's Mask, do you actually mean Twilight Princess? I don't remember the Twilight Princess one that well. Do you, you're not thinking Majora's Mask Twin Rova, right? No. I think of the fish boss. Oh, Georg? Yeah. He reminds you of Georg? No, he reminds you of the the, the the big underwater one that's a direct ripoff of this boss. There's there's a direct ripoff of this boss in um, Twilight Princess. It's an, a big underwater cavern, and you, hey, hey, you make him... Huh? John, there's a little bit of a secret for you. What's that? I've only played Twilight Princess once. Oh, hey, we should play Twilight Princess on the branch. And it was eventually. that time that you got you guys got mad at me for deleting <laughs> Jamie's save file, even though I asked like five times, "Is this the save file to, to delete?" And you said yes. I'm pretty sure you said yes. You might have said no, <laughs> but no. It's I said delete the one. I think I said delete the blank number one, and then. I don't remember. I think you misremembered which one, and I'm like, it's gonna keep the one with less progress. And then you flip that in your head and said, delete the one with the less progress. Where is that? Where are the tentacles? Come on! I don't, don't want to swim like, all the way. Oh. Back. There we go. No, at this point, it's a, it's a convenience, right? It's just taking us back. back yeah, again, this is our our fast travel. So yeah, it's it's uh it's officially summer for like a month now. Our AC's been kicking on. Our our projected uh, power bill next. Month is gonna be seven thousand like, dollars. <laughs> it's a lot, uh, and that's only gonna be for the month of May. And uh, let's see what what. But, but but we determined that the secret because the issue was always Jamie. It was always Jamie wants the house to be seventy five degrees because that's comfortable. Well, seventy three at night, seventy five during the day, and that's just that's just down. Well, so seventy three at night is perfect for me. Uh, I can go 74. In fact, I can go 75 if I get a light enough blanket. But, uh, yeah, the daytime, Jamie can only handle 75. And then we finally got around to putting a ceiling fan in her, her crafting room. And she says, yeah, like, I could just live up here in 78 now. Like, oh, okay, cool. I, you, I would I would like to keep downstairs at 77, 78, uh, especially if we can have air moving. So, heck, let's just get a nice fan for downstairs that doesn't look ugly and blows air on us and we'll just keep it at 78 and save ourselves 100 Fuck 200 no bucks a month yeah between i mean it is a lot it really is uh i remember doing the math and saying oh every degree is like across a month is something like 50 dollars so it definitely makes a difference wait was it more than that i think it was something like 50 dollars once you get down into those you know those mid low 70s yeah. Because cause the difference between, like, 76 and 78 isn't that huge. And the difference between 78 and 80 isn't that huge. But the difference between 75 and 72 is just enormous. Uh, anyway, most of you don't live in places where it matters that much. <laughs> I, don't, I remember... I mean, uh, it's hot in your summers, what, but... When I do AC room calls, you know, at, at, in my in my job... Like, the guests will be mad if their room can't get down to 68 degrees. And I say, what do you keep your house at at night? Oh, 62. Really? Where do you live? Oh, and then they'll just name Antarctica. a northern state where where the ambient temperature at night is, is 62. So it doesn't actually cost them anything to keep it that cold. So, of course, it makes sense that they keep it that temperature. Well, I think we go through that. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty that, clear that, which that way. Ravine. That left one, yeah. And some of these do take you on the same-ish route. I mean, we got that on, like, the first two, didn't we? Yeah. Well, I think this is the one where we where we ended up where we were talking about like the the uh, Grand Tower alone by the sea. No. Oh. Okay. This, this was when we were going the wrong way. Okay. Which <laughs> that's happened a few times, Meredith. <laughs> uh, like the second time. Yeah. Uh, all right. So yesterday we talked about our murder hornets and our baby Yoda. We just got to say those words again for SEO reasons. Yeah, uh, ta talked in. about AMD uh, borking my my XP, and and I mean I realize in retrospect that it's a silly thing anyway to plan that upgrade path because I tend to keep a processor for six or eight years because I mean what what game is gonna come out in the next Year. three years that's not gonna run on my you know Ryzen sixteen hundred X 
There's there's nothing that won't run on that. No, there's there's no game. The only thing I need to upgrade is my video card anyway. So really, the mistake was just buying the high end one in the first place. I should have brought bought one tier down. But also, I was planning on doing the double video card thing, etc. I didn't know if I was going to get into video editing because I didn't know if that was those reins were going to get passed on to me, which I'm sure they would have if I had allowed it. Uh, probably in that tunnel, but. Do you think it's in that tunnel, or do you think it's around that tunnel? Uh, Did like you see the tunnel I'm talking about? I bet, I bet. Like they would, they placed that tunnel right in front of you. See, where did that tunnel go? It's like more of the. It's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was right in front of you. It's uh, on hug the left wall. I'm, we've we've well, been to that shrine, correct? Yes. It's like up okay. there. Do you want to check on the map, or are you? Nope, I'm pretty, pretty certain. I'm pretty certain. Okay. Fearly certain. Fearly certain. Was this here before? Yes. Have we been here? I don't think we've been here. Did he say something about a waterfall? He said something about a forest. Okay. I mean, uh, we've been up here, didn't we? Didn't we knock some? No, that was a different cliff. There's so many cliffs with beautiful water. This is what normal <laughs> environments look like. You know, this is what normal wilderness is like in the not real like, world. Not like our wilderness. Yeah, I don't want to say this is what normal like outdoors looks like because where most people live tends to be flatter places than this land. But, uh, you oh, know what I'm saying. Like, you go around the Rockies, and, well, the Rockies are a bad example, because the Rockies are very desert-like, if not straight-up deserts, like where we live. Uh, that looks like a wall, like a, yeah. Oh, hey, look, and that's a deserty area. Uh, I mean, there's light right in front of you if you step out there. No, I, I wanted to measure it from here. But you can't. You're in shade. You don't know you're that. In the, you're in the Colossus shade. The Colossi are throwing you shade are at you. You're in the shadow of the Colossus. Uh, does this look like the one they were talking about, or do you think this is a later one? Well, we're in the sun, so we can see. Uh, I think, I think it's out, well, I don't know. It's either right there, or it's outside, one of the two. It's behind that rock, or it's, is it, is it down? Is it in this water? Is, are, are we in the Colossus zone? I guess, uh, just poke around on the, the geometry the Colossus here. Colossus danger zone. And if we know, and if it's not, we know that the next Colossus is going to be pretty close. But, you know, if we're, you know, if there's not a cutscene here, then we know, like, oh, we'll be back here later. Just Probably. gotta, you know, put a marker here. Hang on, there's just, like, trees and stuff, so we gotta, like... Hey, Aggro! How'd you get through here? You must a be a magical horse. Huh. Just, just real quick thought I saw. Well, before we run out of time, Amerith. Uh, before we run out of time. Because we, we needed to, we, we need to every, it's it's the law now that every, at least once every few episodes, we, we mentioned that we're recording this during a global pandemic. Right. Where we're, we're stuck at home and everything is different. Um, and and uh, in 20 years, everybody's like, why do they talk about this so much? But today, it, I mean, you know, it's the whole like. You know, during the, during the 1918 flu, I almost said Spanish flu. I'm like, I shouldn't say that because it wasn't the Spanish flu. Uh, you know, during that pandemic, uh, it sure absorbed people a lot, even though pe historians don't... I guess they do now, but I remember growing up, that was not considered a big deal. It was just kind of a footnote in history books. Like, ah, oh, there was a flu, it killed some people. And you look back and it turned out it wiped out like 20% of the global population or something insane like that. Like, it was ridiculous. You mean kind of like what uh, what this virus would do if it was just kind of left unchecked? Uh, it, it depends because if this virus left unchecked would probably only kill three to five percent, I think, because I think the the fatality rates are hyped up because the testing rates are so low. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, like yeah. we're just not getting a lot of the cases that are coming out, and so I think the lethality rate is lower, and I think it's just way more contagious than than we think. And by the way, I'm not a medical professional. I am not an expert in any way. This is random jackass on the internet speculating. I do not want you to think I am a source of. Oh, this is probably yeah. Probably climb up on the top of this thing or climb around inside of it, and and uh, if that's not it, then we go back. Yep. Uh, but yeah, random jackass on the internet suspects. Take the American numbers and add a zero at the end for, for uh, you know, contracted cases. Which means take the deaths and subtract or take the death. No, don't subtract a zero. But in the statistics, that means it's a tenth as deadly. Um. Now I hope yeah. that's the case, but I could be wrong. And but what I was gonna say is there's a chance this this can reinfect. There's some evidence maybe that it can. Although that might just be that there were faulty tests. Are you trying to jump and see if you can climb? Yeah. Okay. 
It, it could be that there are just a lot of false positives and you cannot re-get it. But if you can re-get this every couple of years, that completely changes the game. That does mean if we didn't react to this, it would have killed, you know, up to 10% of the global population. Yeah. As uh, I mentioned, like, well, that they don't even know if, like, once you've had it, if you can be reinfected with it immediately. Oh, I would assume it takes some time. Oh, here we go. We can go in here, yeah. side here. Oh, I bet, I bet we go down, down below. Down into the halls yeah. of nothing. And that might be why your sword was pointing below. This doesn't feel very foresty, but did you say like a forest glade or something? I have no idea. It's fucking we should Nimrod. start we should start reading or I'll nah. just take a video at the beginning of each of each stage. This is oh yeah, yeah. We're certainly supposed to go this. There's no way we weren't supposed to go this way, right? Right. Right. Um I think you were I think you were being led more towards the lefty direction there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not a wall. There's like more. Oh no, that is a wall. Hmm. Well, mm. maybe we're in the wrong spot. I'm gonna pause the episode. Oh, oh, oh no, no, there. I'm not gonna pause the episode. You gotta walk over there. How do I get over there? You, you gotta get not low, shorty. Uh, how do we get there? Oh, you can climb up the pillar. Can I? Oh wait, yeah, you can climb up pillar. that left pillar. Yeah. Did you forget about the climbing mechanic? No. Because it's, it's... Oh, okay. I was gonna, like... Because it's not, uh... It's not Breath of the Wild. You can't climb on anything. You are using the wrong button to jump. Triangle is the jump button. Were you, were you trying with X? Well, it's that, um... Triangle's the jump button, but R1 is the grab button. Oh, and you were rolling and then jumping instead of jumping and then rolling? Yes. Uh, or, or I mean... I know what you mean. Yeah, grabbing and then jumping instead of... Yeah, okay. And then you do a little Prince of Persia jump here. And... So if you can press the correct direction to jump backwards. Nope! <laughs> oh, I think you can start... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you, you have to climb it, starting on this side. Uh, but yeah, so global pandemic is going on, and uh, it makes life a little interesting, right? Like, everything is just a little different now. weird sense. Yeah, it, it does feel like you, you step outside and just the vibe is different. More people are out, like, walking, you know? Like, more people are just outside at a distance from each other in, yeah. in general places. Not at parks. There are a few fewer people at parks. But, you know, you go for a walk in your neighborhood, and there are way more people outside than, you know... Than there have then been. There, yeah, than last year at this time. And uh, the, thing that, the thing that I really enjoy is you just see a lot of weird shit, you know? You see the weird people really? at the grocery store. You see, like, <sighs> me and Jamie had to take a trip to the grocery store because I had to go to the post office at the grocery store and she had to go into the grocery store. So it made sense for both of us to mask up and go in and, and you know, not split yeah. it. Because uh, it was like, a, it was a, I had to go to the post office and she had to do the, be the one doing the shopping. Anyway... And uh, I just go for a walk outside because it was, it was crowded. You know, I was waiting in the car. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, just going to go for a stroll. Actually, I decided to go over and do walk over to another errand Why? across the parking lot while I was there. Because uh, the bank was, the bank we needed to go to was a five-minute walk away. I said, screw it, I'll, I'll walk. And just in that five minutes, like, I saw a fight happen. Like, eh, not really a fight. I saw a very angry confrontation that, okay, here, I'll, I'll just describe it. So I'm walking by, and, and me and Jamie had just had a discussion about, you know, as much as we joke about the Karens wanting their haircuts, I really do want a professional haircut. I'm just willing to wait for it until it's safe, you know? Yeah. Like, my hair is too long, especially for the summer, and I would like it to be shorter, shorter but I'm not about to make someone risk their life to cut it for me, you know what I mean? Exactly. There we go. Finally got it. Don't... Okay. <laughs> Well, is that like the camera kept fucking turning as and I was then, trying to jump? Lo and behold, as I'm walking, you know, in front of the storefronts here, and the, you know, next to the grocery store. Not, uh, I think you walk back to the other way, like walk walk on next to the other pillar here. Which pillar? Like, like keep, yeah, there. Over here. Yeah. Don't fall Don't. off. Well, <laughs> you gotta get back up again. Uh, <laughs> can I climb up this one? Oh, yeah. yeah, we can. Is this one the better one to climb up in the first place, or does it, probably. or is it the exact same thing? It's probably the exact same thing. <laughs> I thought there was something on top of it, but it's the torch. Okay, so yeah, you do go back in there. This was just how you get back into that space. Okay, 
So yeah, I go in front of this barber shop, and sure enough, everything's like gated up, and there's a sign on the door that says we're temporarily closed. But I see like some guy like at the door threshold come up right behind me, and he start he's talking really loud and agitated. He's like, "Outside, come on, outside!" And I hear a guy. There's two guys in, and these are all like skinny, skinny, like mid, like thirties, forties, uh, white dudes. Who are all, they look, they're kind of small scrawny, you know, they're all like five foot seven and maybe 120 pounds. And this guy is like just belligerent. Actually, no, no, no. The guy that he was screaming at was Middle Eastern, I remember, because he had a little bit of an accent. And he was like, I don't want to go outside. I can't defend myself. I'm like, one, kind of cool that asshole belligerent guy here is like, hey, hey, I don't want to fuck up your store inside. Um, you, you jump, Amerith. You jump and then you grab. But you jump onto the left pillar there. Yeah. See? No, 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 pull up. <laughs> do a pull up. Come on. I can do pull ups now. Did you know? Did you know? I've never been able to do pull ups in my life, and suddenly I can do them because I've been doing the right exercises to, to work out those muscles. Oop. <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm like standing outside here with like my phone in hand. Like, do I dial 311? Do I dial 911? Do I intervene? Like, right. The, you are, you are tasked. Like, you are, you have become a potential Samaritan. Oh, you can just jump straight up there. Or that, no, sure. No, I need to get over that one. Okay. You know, there I'm in go. this, I'm in this, oh, conundrum. What is the proper way to handle this? Because I don't want to overblow it. Like, fuckhead. maybe these people know each other really well, and this is just how they argue. You know, some people are like that. And maybe this guy says, no, I won't go outside. The guy just won't fight him. Like, some people are honor Cody like that. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I like they're just like, oh, you don't want to fight? Okay, we'll have to settle this with words. You know, I'm gonna call you a fuckwit until you give in. Yeah, because some people really do like just prefer to settle their disputes with fights. Like that is a that is a you know a bro culture frat boy kind of thing, and I think that's valid if you're both into it and you know you're not gonna seriously injure each other with your fight. You know, some people just need to work out their aggression some ways. Uh, but clearly, this guy was not into it, and that's why I had to consider: okay, do I intercede here? But lo luckily, with my phone out, I'm like. I type three, I hit backspace, I type nine, I'm like, and then, like, this really big dude, like, starts walking towards the dude, the, like, walking towards the door with, like, a purpose, and I said, like, this guy clearly was, you know, walking up to deal with some bullshit, I think you have to get lower, you have to make him, like, start to climb up the edges, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna have to, like, play with him for a little bit, but let me finish my story. Yeah. No, you gotta, you gotta climb down, there are stairs that let you get lower. Um, but yeah, big, muscly dude, like, taller than me, probably 6'3", probably 300 pounds, and, you know, a little bit of pudge, but he looked beefy, you know, I, I said, is anything, everything okay in there? And he just says, we're about to find out, and like, okay, cool, the muscle is here, I can, I can step back, so I step back a little bit, and like, 15 seconds later, the belligerent guy just goes like, flying out the door <laughs> like like feet off the ground oh, <laughs> like, and he lands just fine on his feet he's like fine we'll settle this later <laughs> and walks off i know you have to shoot him with arrows oh you get for oh you you get him in front of the areas that have windows that are not blocked off and then you like climb on his belly i think oh you are about to get roasted nope. next time on the branch nope.